Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going to be a very important public service announcement regarding your own personal security. When you've looked at keys throughout your life, you may have noticed that on the back of them, sometimes you can see a number written on them. You may have not given this too much thought, but you may have thought in the back of your head, what is that number and why is it there? On this key, you can see it has the number plainly written as 67355. On other keys, you can find them in a more alphanumeric code. What I'm going to do is show you why this number is absolutely crucial to your security and you need to try to protect it. More information is coming up on this in just a few seconds. Please stay tuned. All right, so let's jump right into it. So what is this code and why should we be so protective of it? So on this key, you can see it says 67355. And this code is going to actually be very significant to your security because it's essentially gonna be the password to your lock. If you know the key blank that you need and the code on your key, you're gonna be able to make a exact duplicate of this key in just a few seconds, even if you do not have the original key. This key is a Schleg SC1, so you're going to need the Schleg SC1 blank. And if you go to a locksmith and you say, I have a SC1 that needs to be cut to 67355, the locksmith will be able to duplicate this exact key in just a few minutes and just a few dollars. All of the numbers that are written on this key correspond to exactly how low the key is going to be cut to make the bidding that is going to interact with your lock. This is a very powerful thing, and you want to try to protect your key by not posting it online, not keeping it out in public view, and just not sharing it with anyone. One thing that you could do is take this down to your local hardware store, get this key duplicated, use that key, and keep the key at home with the bidding code on it. You can always write this information down just in case you ever lose your key and get locked out, and you want to get back into your house very easily so the locksmith will be able to make an exact key and not feel the need to try to drill out your lock. But what lock companies have done to try to thwart this is they have started taking the numbers out of plain digits like you see here, and they have started moving to an alphanumeric code like you see on this code. This is a master lock key that is 12Z171. You're not going to be able to directly get the bidding code off of this, but there are many different databases online that you can pay a very cheap monthly subscription to, and you can type this code directly into them, and then it is going to be able to produce the key blank and the bidding code that you need, which will give you the exact information that you're able to get off this key. The only difference is you're going to need to pay for a very cheap subscription and go to a third party to use their database. This is a very powerful thing that you need to be able to protect. You do not want to share the password to your lock with anyone. Do not leave your keys out in public view. Do not post them online and just try to keep them as private as possible. One other consideration to take is a key can also be very easily duplicated if you leave it out, even if it does not have the bidding code stamped on it. There are tools like key gauges where you can line up the bidding of the key and you're able to decode it just like that. As you can see on this key, it has a three listed as the first digit and here it is lining up with the three. You just need to be very careful, and if you're not very familiar with locks and security, this is going to be a very new concept to you, but it is a very important thing to try to prevent. I just want to say thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope that you're able to find this information very useful, and I hope that it'll help you protect your own personal security. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and just thank you so much for checking this out.